Good day everyone, my name is Inka and I'm giving this testimony from the United Kingdom. I would like to testify to the goodness of the Lord in the life of my family and I. Um, in the week beginning 26th of April, Reverend Sam prayed for healing and he also prayed against sudden death over ourselves and within, our, within the families. I, I don't know why the Lord kept showing me again. We have had several deliverances yes, tied to this prayer. The Lord said I should announce to you a supernatural covering. I don't know who you are, but you've had testimonies from others who have said when we made this declaration, God set them free. The Lord is saying to me this week, this week, your soul is delivered from death. Amen. This week, you will not be a victim of death. Amen. Your family will not walk into a trap. Amen. No life will be cut short in your Amen. family. Um, Reverend Sam asked us to, to touch the part of our bodies where we're believing in God for healing. And as such, I touched my um, neck because I've had this throat pain for like a week prior to the... Um, to that day so immediately after the prayers i noticed that um i've not been experiencing any pain there um uh, since then i've been able to swallow i've been able to yawn without pain i give, give glory to god for that on the same day my daughter was involved in an incident that would have been fatal but for the intervention of god i give god all the glory that he did not allow me to mourn over my child um, because this is a child that I've waited years to have. I bless the name of the Lord for the intervention. Also in the, in the same week, uh, precisely on Wednesday night into Thursday morning, I woke up to the news on Thursday morning that my sister's house in Nigeria had been raised down with fire. And um, uh, has been raised down by fire. And to the glory of God, nobody was um trapped in the fire nobody was hot and um you know i i thank god for um the intervention for god intervening by um leading somebody to get up at the middle of the night uh that um, the person was able to perceive the smoke and all that if not people would have been trapped in the fire so again i give glory to god for you know for um um, making it possible for them to ex ex escape the fire miraculously. Um, again, on the same day, Thursday, um, as I was driving uh, with my husband in the car, my husband was seated on the passenger side, I was driving, my children were at the back of the car and my sister was at the back of the car. As we were driving on this um, bendy, we were approaching this a junction, we were on a bendy road, it was a back route because um, we were avoiding the um, rush hour traffic, so we took a back route that, that day. And I was driving at a slow speed of 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then as I was about to negotiate this sharp junction, immediately I just, um, um, you know, noticed that a car was almost ramming into us with a speed of about 120 miles an hour. Immediately this car almost rammed into us he braked suddenly. I can't even re uh, remember the actions I took. I can't remember if I braked or if I swerved or anything. I just, all I remembered from that incident is the guy braking so hard that his car started swerving around. Apparently the car was being chased by a number of police vehicles and he was trying to dodge them into that corner road. So as his car was swerving and swerving, my do as I had apparently braked suddenly myself my daughter that was at the back suddenly flipped from the back into the dashboard in front and thank god the dashboard saved her from you know flipping out of the windscreen of the car secondly i thank god because the way this guy um stopped, stopped so um braked suddenly and his car was swerving the next thing usually would have been that the car would have somersaulted and it was it, it was just the grace of God that the car did not somersault that day. 
because if the car had somersaulted, it would have landed on our, our bonnet or our windscreen. And you know, my husband, our children, and my sister were in the car. My husband and I was in the front. So I give glory to God for, you know, the healing in this week alone. I give glory to God for the healing. I give glory to God for, you know, for averting several um, reasons to lose members of my family against sudden death. I just give God the glory. I thank you. I thank Pastor Sam. Uh, I thank Pastor Shegun. And I thank Mama Oye. I thank all the members of the PPH. I pray that um, the Lord will continue to use you for his goodness in Jesus' name. Thank you all.